how to install Ansible in Red Hat Enterprise Linux well version 9 today we are going to talk about the easier way to install and maintain up-to-date Ansible inside REL 9 with the distribution tools I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot Today we are talking about uh, how to install Ansible in RHEL 9. The good news is that the Ansible core package, Ansible-Core, is included out of the box in the RHEL 9 upstream repository. No more additional repository, Ansible engine or EPAL like previous version for basic automation. However, for additional support for the underlying platform and core maintained module is required the Ansible Automation Platform subscription. But this is a different story. Demo time! Are you ready to make your hands dirty? Let's jump in a quick live demo about how to install the latest version of Ansible in RHEL 9. Let's have a fun! First of all, welcome to my laboratory and this is a freshly installed RHEL 9 demo machine. Let me power on and get ready to have fun together with you. This is a standard bootstrap that you might be familiar. And from the login prompt, let's move it on. Better than directly login in the server is remote login via SSH in my case, let me connect via root username at relexample.com. It might be different, usually you have a normal uh, user and you need to switch with sudo to root user. Let me print it out uh, some uh, file, red hat dash release and os release both on etc to verify that this is a standard red hat enterprise linux 9 version Another useful way to verify is using hostname control that gives you a pretty good overview of the machine, the running kernel and all the important information. Once we get familiar with our machine, we can move it on searching for Ansible packages. Using DNF, the package manager list Ansible gives us all the options for the Ansible packages. And well, there is no option. Damn it, what went wrong? Because uh, the Ansible package is not available anymore. Now was replaced with Ansible-core package. For the difference there is uh, a video about. And now let's move it on, installing this that is included in the RHEL 9 upstream repository. This is great, all the dependency 80 package are available here so is completely supported by the Red Hat subscription and as you can see in a blink of an eye 25 megabytes were downloaded on my machine and perfectly installed we need only to wait accept the security key here we have a gpg key one one second here we go and once everything is done dnf is taking care of installing in our machine 100 megabyte uh, of storage we is going to need and after this uh, if we verify with dnf list ansible dash core from uh, is moved to installed packages yay version 2.12.2 is successfully installed let's verify together with ansible dash dash version command that confirm that everything is ready to have fun. So now we can move on on our automation journey with a successful Ansible installed in our Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9. Yay! Great success! Now you know how to install the latest version of Ansible in RHEL 9 and maintain up to date. Thank you for watching, if this video was useful for you, don't miss out the next episode of Ansible Pilot and have a great day, yay! This video is part of our Ansible automation program, sign up today 
on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.